welcome back to another day metal detecting and uh, let's see what we find today and we are still on as you can see stubble but uh, let's see what happens hopefully those finds are still out there and today i've come out with the mine lab uh, vanquish 440 again uh, still really learning on the equinox uh, but we'll see how it goes i might even bring it out later settings I've gone on to, uh, well, my normal settings, but I'll try and explain it in a bit more detail. It's, I put it on jewellery mode, and the reason is, is because it picks up anything from zero upwards, whereas coin mode, relic mode, you know, just change those settings slightly. So I'll be aiming for small targets as well as larger targets. Sensitivity, I've put on, uh, just notched it back by one today because there's just no interference in this field at all. So uh, let's see what we find. Well, first decent signal of the day, look, and uh, there it is, it's a little toy car. I'm just going to uh, dig it out and I'll uh, get back to you and show you exactly what it is. There we go, just chiselled it out at the ground because the ground is a bit solid, so I have to use my little trowel thing there, look. But uh, yeah, I think it might be an American, um, well, a toy, should I say, American Dodge pickup type thing, but it definitely seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah. Now this was uh, registering a 7 on the Vanquish and giving me the similar tone to foil but um, quite a nice little, you know, it's worth digging in the end sort of thing. Um, I nearly didn't bother because I thought, oh, I bet it's a bit of foil but uh, I think that might be the top of a button, uh, the hammered effect. I uh, don't think it's an upholstery stud and I need to wash that out there uh, because they did a, a slightly hammered effect upholstery stud but I think it's a bit too big for that so I'm pretty sure that is the top of a button. It's a George III, I don't know if you can see it there, you can just see the shape of his bust and his face facing right and there's just a few words you can make out there and it's you know, quite thick. Um, I think it's only a half penny though and I just tried to get a bit of a date off because Britannia you can see, um, which way up was Britannia, whichever way anyway, sort of thing, oh there. Um, so there should be a date along the bottom there, uh, can't quite make it out of date at the minute but uh, if I can find a date for it when I've cleaned it up at home I'll put a cute little picture just there well that's got to be the rustiest coin I've ever seen and I'm going to guess it's a modern one from how bad rusty it is so in the obviously the modern coins are made of iron on the inside so it would be my guess that I'll just try and clean it up though see if I can get a better bit of detail off you but I'm thinking possibly two pence looking at that. Yay! As you can see there, look, it's uh, everyone's favourite, a twopenny bit. Or two pence, really, two modern pence. But uh, God, how rusty is that, though? Ah, they're not doing too bad in the stubble today. That's another coin just pulled out, so uh, not exactly sure what it is. But um, it's a little bit toasted. I'll, I'll just have a quick look with some water and see if I can get back to you and tell you what it is. I just see some writing on the edge and it's got a milled edge so I don't think it's a 2p I think it looks more like a, a pre-decimal half penny but I'll, I'll just have a, a look for sure there we go I don't, I don't know if you can make out but it's actually a 1933 half penny so I've just cleaned it with a bit of water and uh, you can just see the, uh, well you can't see the bus now it's gone no, not even I can see it so but uh, yeah there you go that's what that is so we're coming out with a few coins today, so that's a nice thing. Right, another bit of a chase around. I uh, found that clump just there, look. And uh, it, it's a buckle, or part of a buckle. I'm not really sure on the age of buckles, but I wouldn't say that looks particularly old to me. But I'm, I'm really just guessing, so uh, I ought to do a bit of research on buckles, really. But uh, it's getting the time, isn't it, really? Anyway, a fine for the bag. Well, I haven't even picked this one up yet. I just saw it flick out of the hole. So, uh, but I'm going to guess from the signal that it's going to be a modern temp, uh, 2p. But uh, I'll just have a quick uh, look now and see. Um, yeah, can't really tell, but can you see all that iron? I've just got a funny feeling it's another 2p. I'll just give it a quick wash off uh, like I did the other one and we'll see.
Well, would you Adam and Eve it look? That's Queen Elizabeth, so it's a modern coin, but you can just make out the square. Uh, you know the modern coins that they made to have that where they make up a shield? I think it's the Royal Shield. And you can just make out the square of that. So whether it's a 2p or a 10p, I mean, it's not a very old coin to be in that condition, is it, really? Um, I guess it's from dog walkers because I'm just actually at the edge of the field. And uh, I know the dog walkers go around this particular field, but there you go. Anyway, at least I'm going home with a bit of money, even though I've still no idea what it is, but I think it might be a 10p. So with that class as I found silver today, mm, doubt it somehow, do you? Well, a bit of a variation of finds today. So uh, this has just come up, giving quite a strong signal. And uh, it looks like it's part of a broken fork. Now, I think three prong forks, if I remember rightly, are really old ones. I mean, that's definitely what it looks like to be. I don't know if you all feel the same, but uh, anyway, I'll, I'll investigate that a little bit further. I'm not going to unbend it. Um, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'll scan around a bit further see if I can find any more bits of it, but yeah, I'm sure that's what that is, a three-pronged fork, or part of. Okay, I seem to be in the muddy a bit along this walk, so uh, I wonder what that coin is. Um, I think this might be an old one, actually, to be fair. It doesn't have the feel of a modern coin, and look how thin it is, so uh, I'll really have to look at this one a bit. I'll just put some water on it and... Uh, Okay, so I've worked out it is a uh, pre-decimal half penny, so it's not a modern coin at all. And uh, I think uh, you can just sort of see a bust around when you look, but uh, my water spray is running out, so I'll have to uh, just finish that job off at home and I'll put a little picture up if I can get anything from it. Okay, I'll just give this a rub because uh, when I pulled it out, I thought it was just a bit of rubbish at first, but it's quite heavy weight. And I don't know if you look can see it, but I, I felt that edge was so smooth there and then it's got a little bit of an angle to it there now I'm thinking that could be part of a cooking pot um, it's certainly heavy enough and it's got that little smooth edge there so uh, and any any views on whether you think it is would be uh, much appreciated so uh, you know just make a comment but that's what it looks like to me okay so I've just pulled this uh, lump of earth out and uh, or clod as we call them in Lincolnshire and uh, found this here stuck in so I thought we would uh, together reveal what it is I mean obviously it's a watch so uh, you know I'm not going to insult anybody's intelligence by saying it's anything else but uh, it's oh it's not that old look it's still got a battery in it so what is it actually maybe it isn't a watch well, it's broken anyway whatever it is so maybe it's the battery it was picking up then because it was given a high signal because I thought I was getting a tin can at first but uh, do you think that is a watch? It must be a watch. Yeah, it won't be one of those walk things, will it? No, because they were square, weren't they? So, Oh, well, you find all sorts, don't you? But it's coming home with me, so probably end up in the bin, to be fair, but there you go. OK, just uh, moved on into the next field now, as so I'm walking along the top of the ridge, and uh, this has turned up. It looks like part of a pendant or something, so uh, it's been chopped probably by the plough or there's a bit of machinery that's come through or whatever. But, uh, yeah, quite a nice little pattern to it. It'll clean up quite well. So, not a bad little find. It's 2p or not 2p, look. Another 2p. That must be 2p day today, but, hey, at least I'm going home with some money. But, uh, yeah, not too deep either, really. But, uh, and that's in a lot better condition than the last 2p. So, I wonder if it's uh, more the older ones of the modern money. So, anyway, in the pocket. So, uh, look at the wires everywhere. <laughs> so, I've come into the uh, other field, and this seems to be quite productive, because I've not far come in, and uh, I've dug this up, which is a nice little shiny button. I'm, I think it might not be too old, really. It looks too shiny, doesn't it? But And it's still intact there, but then the back looks reasonably old. Anyway, it's a nice shiny button. Can we say silver? I don't know. I keep wishing for silver today, don't I? Not found any yet. I don't think we can say that's silver. It doesn't feel like silver. Maybe it's silvered. Yeah. We'll go with that one. It's silvered. Who said metal detecting wasn't profitable? Look, 20 pence. And it's quite a modern one as well. It's one of those flag ones. So, uh, 
It's uh, again not in terribly good condition. I've, I've had old, older coins in uh, better condition than that, but uh, there you go. Anyway, money in the pocket again. And proving my luck with buttons, oh, hasn't uh, disappeared with me, and that's still got its hole in it as well. So that's another button. And uh, like I always say, it's like a bit of social history because the last person to touch that button was the person that lost it, and um, I'm the next person, so that's quite nice. Almost quite romantic, really, isn't it? There we go, I've just rested it artistically there. Just for you to have a look at, it's nothing particularly old, it's just a four hole button. Probably uh, Nick Kamen's been in here stripping off uh, his uh, jeans or not, I don't know. But uh, there you go, it's a little four hole button in the bag. Well, it's not very often that happens. I just literally broke the surface there with a the shovel and this popped out. So uh, another coin there, and I guess with the thinness of the, that, must be an old, probably half penny. Um, and I guess um, I've run out of water so I'm just going to have to have a quick look with the magnifying glass and then uh, probably clean it up later on if I can get any detail from it. But still coins in the field to be found. Just have to turn my back away from the window, it, uh, hopefully it's not uh, blowing too much on the mic. But uh, there we go, that's another, I think that must be a little press stud or something surely. But it looks like a button from Article of Clothing. Oh, I suppose it could be a jeans one where they're a little bit thicker, aren't they? So where you button somebody's fly. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, that's what that is. So there we go. Not old, but another find. Well, that's the biggest coinage I've found today, and it wasn't too far off the surface either. Uh, still bewilders me why they'd be in this part of the field, unless dog walkers walk around this side as well. I don't know. Um, but I can't see it because it's like in between two fields there. Um, so, I don't know. But anyway, it's a modern 50p, so uh, I wonder if they'll accept it in the pub towards a pint. It's not really much of a pint though, is it really? It's probably just a sip. Anyway, I'll try my look. Look at that. A lot of digging, and guess what? Yeah, foiled again. More foil. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's carry on. Well, at first I thought I'd found a musket ball, and it certainly looks the sort of size of one, but it's given too high a signal. So it can't be lead, and it doesn't feel like lead, it looks more like copper. So I'm going to guess it's possibly part of a furniture fitting. It's the only thing I can put it down to. Um, but anyway, it's a find, and uh, there you go. Screaming at me from that shallow hole there is this. Um, I think it's a modern 5p to be honest. It might be a half penny because I can just see some vague things that look a bit like it's a half penny but uh, I'll put some water on it and get back to you in a minute. Right, I've just had a look. I've sprayed some water on it and looked under the uh, magnifying glass and it is an Elizabeth II half penny. Um, I don't know if anyone can make that out. I'll see if I can get a better picture if you need it but uh, that's what that is. So out of that hole there pops this which to me looks possible palm guard for you know when you work in leather or anything it sort of sits right in my hand anyway so anyone have any uh, different ideas then please leave a note I know I've said it a few times before but look at the small objects these things find they're really just amazing machines okay I'm crouched down here now just uh, sheltering from the wind a little bit and uh, I think we'll call that a day now. So uh, I've been out with Mark from Metal Detect in Lincolnshire. So uh, pop over and check his videos out and uh, see what he's found. But uh, until next time, happy hunting.